from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. I will praise His holy name. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. I will praise, I will praise His name. Alleluia. 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 Now, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here, but this becomes increasingly clear and should be crystal clear as the Lord would speak through Amos a bit further on. And God spoke to Amos saying this. I'm reading chapter 5, verses 21 to 24. God is speaking to the people of Israel who are being religious. And he says, I hate, I reject your festivals, nor do I delight in your solemn assemblies. Even though you offer up to me burnt offerings and your grain offerings, I will not accept them. And I will not even look at the peace offerings of your families. Mm. Take away from me the noise of your songs. I will not even listen to the sounds of your harps. But let justice roll down like water and righteousness like an ever flowing stream. Once again, this goes to the issue of God's love which is absent in these people of God, mm -hmm. as we have seen evidence of. And yet they were still being very, quote unquote, churchy, much like the church of Laodicea. Yes. Right? Because in Laodicea, they were saying, I am rich and have become wealthy and have need of nothing. And you do not know, Jesus said, you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Revelation 3.17. So, but also like the church of Laodicea, Jesus was left on the outside. Yes. I mean, we can debate and think about this all day. Why did he have to send a prophet from the south up to Israel? Yes, there's nobody there. there. Um, well, it's the okay. school of the prophets. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm saying that this goes to the issue. Their selfishness goes to the issue of love, a lack of God's love. Think about what Paul said. I mean, this has got to be one of the most marvelous, sweetest chapters to hear. 1 Corinthians 13, Paul said, If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I have become a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and know all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all my possessions to feed the poor, and if I surrender my body to be burned, but do not have love, it profits me nothing. 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 3. You see, you can do all the religious stuff. You can be all churchy. But if you don't have love, God's love, it profits nothing. Religion without relationship, which is only made possible by the, that, that relationship is made possible by the atoning work of Jesus Christ, is what Isaiah spoke of when he talked about all our righteous deeds are like filthy rags. To him, right? Mm -hmm. Isaiah 64, 6. So now, as the Lord is about to declare a litany of disasters that he brought upon his own people, let's begin with this understanding. We're going to look at this and see God's what appears to be a very harsh God. That's why it's important to understand before we do that. I want to just think about this. God desires that none should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Mm -hmm. 2 Peter 3, 9. The Lord longs to be gracious to us and waits on high to have compassion on us. Isaiah 30, 18. The Lord has no pleasure in the death of the wicked, rather that they should return and live. Ezekiel 18, 23. Nothing that he does in the life of a believer will have any result other than working good for us. Romans 8, 28. To those who love him, according to his, according to his purpose, right? Mm -hmm. So we can, like Job, accept good from God as well as accepting adversity from God. Mm -hmm. Job 2.10. Go read these things. I hope you're making little notes here, right? And we can give thanks in the midst of the good, in the midst of the bad, in the midst of the ugly. The good, the bad, and the ugly knowing that he is working his plan in our lives. So we can, we are commanded to give thanks. First Thessalonians 5.18 You see, and all the things he does, 
he makes a way. The potter, for it is God who is at work in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure.